various types of light senders. Number one, ordinary sender. It is common type used for general purpose. Number two, half sender. Though it is termed as half sender, little less than half is relieved as the tip portion. Used while facing the job without disturbing the setting. Number three, tipped sender. A carbide or a hard alloy tip is braced into an ordinary steel shank. The hard tip is wear resistant. Number four, bolt sender. Minimum wear strain, particularly suitable for tap turning by taste choke offset method. Number five, pipe sender used for supporting pipes, shells, and hollow end jobs. Number six, revolving sender. Frictionless used for supporting heavy jobs and jobs revolving with high speeds. A high speed steel inserted sender. It is supported by two bearings housed in a body. It is also called the revolving dead sender. Number seven, insert type sender. Economical only the small high speed steel insert is replaced. Number eight, self driving dive sender. Usually mounted on the headstock spindle, used while machining the entire length of the job in on setting. Grooves cut around the circumference of the sender point provide for good gripping of the job and for getting the drive. This sender can be used only for the soft metal jobs and not for hardened jobs. Number nine, female sender. This sender is used to support the end of the job where no countersink hole is permitted. Number ten, swivel V sender. This sender is used to support a job in the V portion and to drill holes across the round job by using a drill bit in the headstock spindle. Next, micro set adjustable sender. It is fitted into the taste stock spindle, provides a fast and accurate method of aligning lathe senders. Some of these senders contain an eccentric, others contain a dovetail slide, which permits slight adjustment of the sender itself to correct alignment.